buds and stuff. Not the kind of buds that you're normally familiar with. These buds you can't smoke. These earbuds or IEMs, in-ear monitors. They're awesome. These are the KZZSN10 Pros and these are the KZZSN Pro X's. I will be reviewing these after this video. I have spent the past day listening to both of these and this is awesome and this is awesome. I like them both. They both sound different. This has five speakers in. This has two. Put them aside. This video is about my new favourite thing in the world. I love these. I have... Listen, behind me, I have about 11 pairs of headphones hanging on the wall. You guys know this. You guys know me. For me to say something's awesome when I'm putting it up against all of the big dogs, including the harmonic dines, which I still need to put out a video on, these have bass. Bass. Big bass. Bass, many bass, all of the bass, <laughs> they're awesome. I put them back in their box, I did, I did put them back in the box because in the unboxing video I did a pretty shite job. So I'm going to be unboxing these properly, plugging them in, playing some jams and that. And you're going to be seeing me uh, probably groove into the beat, mate. Because, honestly, these things are fucking awesome. I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. One thing I don't love is this cable has been nothing but traumatic for me. But it looks cool, so I can live with that. Because, you know, in the world of fake things, what matters is how good it looks and not how well it performs. But not on this channel. This is a channel where we actually care about the way things perform. You know? Alright, let me stop waffling, plug them in. These... Uh, just, you're not going to get a representation of how I feel about these because I don't think words can do justice how good these are for the price range. And that's the key thing to take away from this, is for the price range. If you put these up against the tin T2s, which I have a pair of, and you say, right, What's better? And these are the tin T2s, the standard ones, not the pros, because the pros are wank. The pros are absolute crap. Don't know what they did wrong, but it's just lost all of the fun. There's no fun, they're boring, they sound like if... If James May designed a pair of IEMs, they would sound like the tin T2 pros. And if Jeremy Clarkson designed a pair of IEMs, they would sound like the tin T2s. That's the way I would say that works. Tin T2s are good, right? Tin T2 Pros, not so good. These, on the other hand, for the earwax that I paid for them, ignore that. <laughs> for what I paid for these, these should not be this good. And I'm dead serious. Look at these little golden nuggets of fuck. <laughs> golden nuggets of Fuck, that's what these are called. Little golden nuggets of, oh my god, these sound incredible. That's what they are. Listen. They're real metal. None of that plastic shit you get. These aren't Beats by Dre, mate, but they are freaking gold. Look at that. They just, they just, they just, they just, they just. End of video. Thanks for watching. Go buy these fuck off, right? They just. Bass, big bass, many of the big bass. Right, let's uh, play some songs. I'm going to load up a drill playlist because if you want dirty bass and you want dirty feelings, you go to drill. I have a playlist on Tidal called Drill Like a Dentist. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> anyway, let's find a song. A good song. Let's find a song with bass. Uh, both by Heady One. How about that? Let's have a quick listen, and I'll give you my uh, little impression. Turn that up a bit. Oh! Bass! Bass! 
big bass. <laughs> Stop the music, shut up. I'm gonna find it hard for a very long time being realistic and being not being me being oh, big bassed by these very much good. Yes, they are big bass. They have many much of the bass, but on a reel, although they look like I've spray painted them with a can I found in Argos. Not even at Wilco, a can I found in Wilco. They sound like they was made by the same person who made my HD 559s. Now, this is the way I would say IEMs usually work. And no, I don't have too much experience of IEMs. But I have enough to know the kind of basics. Usually, because it's a confined space, it's easier to make bass because it's shooting it down your ear canal and it's all sealed and it's easier to do that if you, if, imagine if you was to stick your head inside a a sealed box a sealed subwoofer box and you started playing like 30 hertz test tone you're gonna get all the bass in the world now if you stick your head in a ported box it'll still be bassy but not in the same way that it would be if it was sealed because that air's not moving it's just being punched about in that box it's the same way that these a bassy because they're awesome now bass isn't the only thing they do well the clarity the detail and the imaging for a pair of what I, <laughs> what i could only describe as dirty cheap for a pair of dirty cheap earbuds iems it should not be performing this well for the price range and you're probably wondering hey heavy heavy h what's going on man what are you doing Yo, fat dude, how much are these? Well, if I was to tell you, for a good kebab, for you and your mate, you could get a pair of these. Yeah, I'm dead serious, dude. They are that fucking good. A good kebab, a pair of these. Or, what else could you do? Yeah, you ever buy tickets to go see some woman sing at opera that you don't really care about because your mum wanted to go? Or these. Or you could get your car washed. Or these. It's just how you weigh it up. So you could buy that shit thing you saw in the Argos catalogue for $29.99. Or you could buy these. I know what I would rather have. That gold thing... Well, that thing you found in the Iowa's catalog, I promise you, doesn't look like it's been spray painted by an eight year old and is literally my wet dream of bass. <laughs> now, the 559s I have, 559s are awesome, right? Yeah, alright, sounds like a Ferrari, that's cool. The Sennheiser engineer that made those, when he made them, said, Oh, Shazer! Because of the bass, right? The person who made these went, Holy shit, balls, this has bass! And then he went, that's perfect, we'll put them in a box, send them off, and everyone will love them. And I do, I do. And he said, do you know what, for the people that don't like bass, introducing these. I don't know why you wouldn't like bass, but for the people that don't, there is these. Now these are the five speaker, triple ba balanced armature fucking craziness. These are single balanced armature, but they have a whole lineup of KZ affordable IEMs that are fucking fantastic. They are fantastic. And if you know what you're looking for, you can find every single one of them does something different. If you want bass, you get the gold ones. If you want the nice, rich, detailed sound with enough bass to satisfy, but not so much that it overwhelms the rest of it, then you get the ones I have over here. If you want other ones, you get other ones. I have some more on the way, because KZ are awesome. And they said... You know, yo, what's up? And I was like, yo, what's up? And then I have these. <laughs> basically, my camera died. And basically, what I was saying was, KZ are awesome. And for making these, you guys deserve medals. Because what you have managed to do is fill a part of the market that is so consumed with shit. 
that people still won't see these. They'll buy the shit because the shit is made by name brands like Sony and other name brands where these will go unnoticed. KZ, you've done a fucking awesome job at making these. I love them, I adore them, and I think for the price range there isn't anything else that I can think of off the top of my head that comes close to these. The only thing I can compare these to cost basically double the price, and they're the 10 T2s, the 45 quid 10 T2s with the little blue tips that look like smurf balls that you have to shove in your ears. They're cool, but they're more expensive. And honestly, I kind of like these more. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's more the satisfaction of how knowing how dirty cheap they are and knowing how stinky big bass all of that cool stuff. And that they're just cheap and they're just good and they sound good and I do recommend these and I cannot recommend these enough. And if you guys want to see me review the bigger brother of these, which I have sitting to the right of me. That video will be up probably after this, or a week after this, or whatever, once I form my opinion. But, thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, notification, blah 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 blah, you know what the fuck it does, whatever. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.